Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today we are going to talk about two things that we were waiting for and I had mentioned them in the past. One is I finally received a Westman Atelier, the color 0.5. This is important because, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit in a minute. So we're gonna be trying obviously the foundation stick, the different cha uh, shades, and I will be swatching. And then we are also gonna try the new, well, it's not new, it's, uh, it's Westman Atelier brush, but it's new to me, which came in this beautiful case, like all her brushes. I love all her detail. I love the gold, but we're gonna be talking about this brush that goes with her famous uh, and unique uh, super loaded tinted um, highlights. So we're gonna be trying it for the very first time. I haven't even opened it to see if it really applies much different than with the finger or with the other brushes, etc. And of course, I'm gonna reuse the crochet and the um, petal blush from Westman Atelier. You know, if you've been with me, that crochet, I just received that it was supposed to arrive with the other two items, but it didn't, but I already tried it out. And then the other pending issue, one of you requested, I don't know if you saw my video with Lisa Eldridge, new eyeshadow, um, new liquid looks, luxer eyeshadows. And I did receive them and I did made a whole uh, video with them. Uh, please check it out if you haven't seen it and if you're interested. And the interesting part is I thought, I mean, most of YouTubers have been showing case in this one and done. So they apply each color and try them out. Of course, me, I ended up applying uh, four of them into my eyes and created one look, which I actually liked quite a bit. So, uh, and I posted on Instagram and Lisa Eldridge or her team, you know, put beautiful. So I don't know, probably they, they do that with everybody, but I was excited because at least she didn't reject the look. <laughs> so that's something. Um, welcome creativity, right? Uh, so the pending issue is since I created this look with four of them, one of you commented that was interested because of that look in this color Diana, which is copper. So I told her that I will uh, try it out in very light kind of uh, way in my one and done, uh, but just to see if she's still interested on the color. And I don't know, perhaps I play a little bit more. We'll see. We'll see because if you've been with me, you know that I plan one thing and then once I'm here with you all uh, or thinking of you all because I feel you guys here with me, <laughs> Things start shifting a little bit, so we'll see. All right, so um, let's start with the foundation stick. Um, I put a little bit, uh, and I said I was not gonna mention this, but I must, I mean, it's, it's something I do use, and, and it is a corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. I apply a little bit under my eyes, a little bit on the red. It's not a concealer, it's a corrector, but it has a little peach, and so it does help. All right, I do have, some of Lisa Eldridge uh, Lip Liner Affair. And I put this because I hate greeting you with a bare feet, uh, bare food, uh, 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 bare face. Uh, so I apply a little bit of this and I apply a little bit of the biscuit, uh, the biscuit stick from Western Atelier. We'll do a little bit because since I'm gonna put more of the foundation, uh, you'll see me make sort of a full face and the interesting part these are really my favorite i mean i heard a quote or i saw a quote on instagram from westman atelier of a client of hers and said you know now that i try your stuff i threw away all the rest of the makeup and this is my only uh to go sort of products i i can totally understand what that customer said because Westman Atelier products are so different than anything else and they're so comfortable in the face. They feel good and they look good and they really make you look very natural and pretty. So, I mean, I'm not into the extent that I would throw the rest of my collections away. <laughs> I just find that everything has a place. Um, but it is true that this is my favorite for every day and for Zoom meetings because it also looks good in picture or with the light on or uh, video. 
and but also in real per uh, in real life and also comfortable to the skin so easy to take off i mean it has so many pluses it's a, a clean beauty right so i really like westman atelier and here we are so um i mentioned this in another video but it was a short video uh when i first bought the foundation sticks um i think she was i mean maybe not new but kind of starting and there was only um westman atelier color one atelier one and atelier n so there was n and then one and then of course two three four five and the color and she always recommended uh to apply the foundation in two colors perhaps three and she carries it and then she plays with all of them a little bit because she says that uh, none of us have just one color in our face or in our skin and so she really if you want a very natural sort of look that's what she likes to play with with several colors i mean at least two and sometimes she does skip like she would use three and five or something like that but i think it's mostly because they're more in the undertone the correct undertone but also just from one number to the next in any case i couldn't do that because i mean i only had the one and then the end uh, i never tried number two so i don't know how much darker it is uh, but atelier one is my perfect match i mean it just looks like my skin and so i bought the atelier i wouldn't want any darker so i bought the atelier and but that one really never really worked for me because it was not only lighter, much lighter, but it, it has a little pinkish to it or cement color, what I call it. Cement is a terrible word to use, but against my skin, that's what it looks like. I mean, if you have that color, it obviously looks beautiful. Uh, so in all this time, I do pull them because I want to be obedient about using two colors, but I haven't really used the end that much. Um, my little trick, instead of like she does here and there with different colors, I prefer to put here and there with the Atelier 1, which is my actual color, it does cover the retinas, etc. And then use the other one more in the center of my face just to create a little more light, right? But I was very sort of hesitant because he's not a good color for me. So I wanna swatch him here for you because now this is a new thing. And thanks to one of you that mentioned uh, the other colors, I went to Sephora and I checked it out. Apparently between N and one now there's two other colors there is porcelain which is zero and then there is atelier 0.5 so now you know so i did order the 0.5 which will be the next down from atelier one which i am so let's swatch them here for you so the first one this is n and you can see it all right. when I swatch it, it's a lot stronger, the color. Obviously, you start kind of blending in and it starts becoming your skin. You see that? So it won't look like this. But even so, if you notice, it starts getting that more cream, um, rosier uh, feel to the color of the foundation, if you see this part. And, and <laughs> um, of course, I call it cement. It's not really cement. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, when I apply my whole face, that's, that's what I feel it looks like. So that's Anne. Now this is the new one. I haven't swatched it there. So let's see, I haven't seen it next to it, which I'm very interested. Well, okay, you'll be the judge. So you have, this one is N and this one is 0.5. All I see so far, if you can see, is this one is a little bit, a little, little, little bit yellowish. But I have to say they're both light. It's just, if you, can you tell maybe this one has a little more pink and this one has a little more yellow. It's still not yellow enough for my skin, but it will work for what we're trying to attempt. Now I'm gonna swatch Atelier One, which this works for my skin. And even though I have swatched this one before and I've shown you, and this one looks a lot more yellow. Look at that, look at the difference. I mean, if I'm talking that this one really works with my skin, imagine how this one looks or that one looks. And you know, 
uh, this one even looks lighter. Now I'm a little confused, right? But this one, I can see the pink in it. This one is lighter. And then of course this one is. So now I'm curious about porcelain zero. But it, when I look at the swatches, it look, the, the zero look more with this pinkish. And this one, I guess it's just neutral. I don't understand exactly uh, what the difference is. But, um, and see when I, I'm sorry my hands, I was playing with my dog and I got dirt and I'm scratch and don't, don't notice that. I'm actually gonna start taking care of my nails the proper way now that I'm in video and they're always showing. Yes, I'm starting to be a little embarrassed. Well, just for you guys, just for you guys. Let's see if that works out. I have had long nails at some point in my life. All right, so um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. You're looking it for yourself. Uh, all I know is this one doesn't work for me necessarily, and this one we'll see, but look at the difference between these two. It's a lot, right? Now I'm curious on zero. Zero is supposed to be in between these two and more towards the pink. Well, I got it. So let's put on a little bit. So first, of course, the, the one, which this one I use for everything and I really like it. And of course, immediately see, it, it will cover my under eyes. So I put that one there. Let's put the point one on the other side, on the other eye see what happens all right I don't want to confuse them because you know I get a little lost here so the first thing I mean I have to say if you haven't seen the Westman Atelier videos that I have made this is so creamy and so nice and it does well there's a difference um, it's nice to under the eyes right and probably better than the yellow now let's check on the redness. Um, so this is very creamy and it does take a little time for, for it to really grab into your skin and set. Like right now you're seeing it strongly and I'm leaving it there for a reason. Not only for, I mean, one for you guys to see the color, but the other one, you'll see how it just starts melting into your skin and in a little bit, it won't feel like, any, it won't look like anything, which is lovely. Well, I'm really liking how this color is looking, which is the new one, the 0.5. And I'm putting this on the red on the other side. Hmm, which one do you like better? This one or this one? I'm actually liking, and probably when you do the combo like she like she has, I'm putting some here because I have like some bites or something. I was playing outside, guys. And and when you're outside, especially here in Miami, which is a swamp. I mean, I know everybody thinks of it like the big ocean, but it's also a swamp. Uh, there's all kind of insects I have discovered because I come from the desert. Now, from Mexico, the desert. So now when you're in the desert, well, you see all kind of animals like uh, scorpions and stuff. So tarantulas. So not cute. But here is a different type of, I mean, you find crocodiles and things like that, but you also find a lot of small insects that are unknown to me. A lot of spiders for sure, but different kind of spiders. Why am I talking about these things? I apologize. <laughs> I'm not supposed to go there, right? <laughs> oh, Dios mío. Okay, let's, let's picture beautiful birds, sweet breads. There are also some of those here. They come like a... Uh, a blue and red and yellow, beautiful, yeah. And I have a lot of butterflies that come through. Yeah, much better topic, right? I mean, we start feeling better. Anyhow, so look how beautiful this foundation looks. Sheesh, it's just amazing. Wow. So this is the Atelier 1. This is more the Atelier 0.5. You can see a difference. This is a little yellowish and this is more white and I, I like both I really like both so now I see let's start mixing right so I'm gonna put just a little bit randomly of the Atelier 0.5 but really more towards the center of my face because of what I said of the of the center having the most light 
and then some of the yellowish on the other side just to mix but what I want you to see is because I guess there's the two ways to apply it one is as a regular foundation you know when you grab the thing and you and then you just spread it all over that's one way and I actually it's funny because um, I'm trying to let me pull this one I actually compared it in a, in a place um, with this Jair Weiss. Um, I compare the Atelier one, they're exactly the same color as the Silken, very, very similar. But see, with this one, when I start applying it, I do feel that I have to cover all of it for it to look, uh, you know, cohesive. If not, I see where, where I apply the, the foundation. With these sticks, I mean, look, I put, I obviously didn't smear it all over, make sure that every little piece of it was covered. No, I, I just started going to the places where I saw red or I saw a little bit of, of a dry patch or just anywhere where I needed a little help. And somehow, look, it just starts looking beautiful. I don't know what's in this, but you see what I'm talking about? That I guess that's why people that try this line love it so much because it has that, um, it just starts getting better in a very natural way, I mean. So the next thing is I'm going to put a little bit of biscuit just so you know what I did. Oh, this is nectar, a little bit. Biscuit, okay. So biscuit is this. The first time I saw this, I thought, oh, that's crazy. It's too dark. But because it blends so easily, um, and the color makes a perfect shade. I've never seen anything like this. I mean for it to just blend so beautiful. Look, it creates the actual shadow like it's supposed to. I will put a little bit here, just, you know, I have hooded eyes, so that immediately makes me feel better because it brings a little more shade in there, so it appears like I have a better, what do you call this? Um, well, you know what I mean. Me and, and forget words. It's not so much the bad memory. I'll tell you what is wrong with me <laughs> or why I forget words all the time. Um, I think in images. And so when I think of an image, I think of exactly what I want to say, but then I have to go and look for the words. Most people, the words come, they not the picture. For me, it's the picture and then the word. And two languages. Sometimes I have to go and look. I remember in one language, not the other, things like that. So it's almost like I'm always translating the images I see. I don't know if, if some of you have that, but that's, that's what happened. And so I see the picture. I know what I want to say. I know what it sounds like, but I can't come up with the actual word. And that's why I struggle sometimes in, in communicating in that way. Anyhow, thank you for bearing with me. How many times have I apologized today? I mean, can I stop? Yes, I'm going to stop. So thank you for being here with me and exactly how I am. <laughs> All right, moving on. So now let's do um, the Crochet, which is the new acquisition, which I love. And I love using these products. You can use it with your finger like I have been doing. But I love using this uh, Sonia G Mini Base. Uh, this was part of the uh, Kayaki set i really recommend that set is five very small travel size brushes but they work wonders and i think this one the actual hairs is the same size as the as the brush that is a, a full size so you actually get in the same just a shorter sort of handle and they're so beautiful i really like this sort of darker wood um but the five the five set brushes um, I put them in, in a bag, but they are so nice. I'll make a, um, a video on that, which is interesting. Every time I'm with you, uh, I mention uh, <laughs> a new video I will do to showcase something, uh, which is nice. I have so much still that I would like to share with you guys. But at the same time, sometimes I feel that I wish I had been on camera for the last year as I was collecting these things and do it while I was getting them. That would have been a lot more fun and on time, right? 
but that's okay. That's okay. Everything in its due time. So I'm in love with this new color. I don't know why I never thought it, it was never gonna work. This is called Chochette. I think I was confusing it. She has another one that, I don't remember the name of it, but it's also peachy. It looks a little lighter. Maybe when I saw the pictures, I always pictured the other one and I thought it would be too light. I don't know when this one, if this one's new, but I love this color and I'm so happy I got it. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of petal just because I'm liking this idea of two colors and because I like a little bit of this, it's a very neutral pink, but I like that in my skin coloring. This is more or less what I always wore more in the pink side, more than the peachy. And of course the style was always towards peachy or brownish and, and uh, there's a lot of uh, women that look wonderful, beautiful with the PT, but I always went for pinks. And so now that I'm sort of discovering that whole peachy look and I like it, but I still miss the little bit of pink on me. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I already lip line with Lisa Eldridge Affair, which is the lightest uh, lip liner that I have of her. And uh, this time I'm going to use um, the lipstick velvet affair as well last time we used painterly and it was a little uh i chose it because it was one of the new ones and it was a little bit of a neutral um brownish you'll see this is painterly so i wanted something very brown to go with the look and it worked i actually liked it but today i'm going to use a fair you see it has a little um uh what do you call it orangey maybe, but it's still very neutral. And we'll see, we'll see if that works uh, because we're gonna try that eyeline, I mean eyeshadow that I mentioned. So lovely color, this one. Very, very nice. Feels good on my lips. All right. So, last but not least, like usually I could wear there the uh, Lipped Up Nectar, which is gorgeous. A little bit of peachiness right there. That's oof, easy, very fast. But uh, remember, I wanna showcase this brush. Let's pull it out. First time using it. I know sometimes you need to wash them or at least like once you take this out, this will change a little bit. Ooh, soft, much softer than I thought. That's a great thing. So I'm just kind of moving it around a little bit just to, so it relaxes, <laughs> so it gets in the mood. Wow, I'm very surprised at how soft. And I have seen other YouTubers do this and see how is soft and moldable. You see how it gets to one side, and then if I do this, it gets to the other side. You see that? So they were they were just pointing it out. I don't know if it does something once I use it with the cream highlighted. So what do I mean by the cream highlighter? Very different texture than the lid ups, right? So I just mentioned the lid ups, and I have uh, three of the four that she carries. This is nectar, and then there's the transparent, and then I have the one that came in the holiday set, which is more cream champagne. But those are a little stickier, and obviously they're stick, right? These ones are very unique. I haven't seen any other brand carrying anything like this. These are called the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. Now, she came first or maybe one of these was the first. Some, some, one of you corrected me that one of these, maybe the peach, this one was the first one ever that she came out, pay the pee, pay the pet, per the perch, more on the peachy side. Then I also got pay the rose. Let me see the, the difference. That's why I'm putting like this. You see, this is more brownish. However, there's a third one, which is more bronzing, like more browner. Maybe one of these days I will try it. I never got it because I thought it would be too dark for me, but later on I order her bronzer and I thought it was going to be or too orange or too dark and I have love it. So maybe I should get the 
No, and the, the sale just passed. Maybe I should have gotten, um, well, I will get that third one and just check it out, right? Because so far, nothing has disappointed me from this brand. So uh, so we'll use this for the very first time. Let's see, it's supposed to be perfect size because it goes like that. So far, I like that. I don't see a lot of product being picked, but this product is, is a little interesting in that way. So I'm, I'm really going in there. Now I see more. All right, I'm a little scared. And this is what Westman Atelier does, Gucci. If it goes like this, ooh. <laughs> uh, because this was to pretend that you're a little under the sun. Ooh, I totally see it. <laughs> Not expected that. Not expected, but I've seen that it happens. But I have tried with many other brushes and he never did that. So I absolutely see a difference using this brush against others with this particular product. And now I'm very happy I did because it does give that you just got sun effect. Now it was not what I was going for today. So uh, if I was knowing that, I would have just applied it here and applied it here for today. However, I really wanted to dry it and I mean, it's very lovely. I actually like it. Imagine, I can just go all day like this. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my God, I love this brand. All right, well, there you have it. Lovely, lovely. This would have been, and I would put mascara on, and this would be, and of course her eyeshadows are awesome because they look very natural. So it goes with the whole look, even though it has different colorings. So love the brush. It's not inexpensive. That's why it took so long to get it. I do own uh, three of her other eyeshadow, um, eye brushes and I really like them. I have her bronzer, which I use with her bronzer. It makes a difference. I have some of her eyeshadows. I mean, I uh, brushes for the eyeshadows and I, I enjoy them. I don't use them much because I use my finger mostly, but I enjoy them. So, so far her brushes are worthwhile. I was hesitant because they're not natural hair. So I thought, eh, what's in there? In, they're not inexpensive, so I thought it is. But I have found that uh, using them for her products is perfect. So she knows what she's doing in pairing those things. Lovely. So let's move on. Um, I keep looking at the watch because sometimes I don't know where the time goes. <laughs> so we will be doing what I promised one of you. We're going to be using this. And now I thought because, but I, I have used it. If you see the video, uh, about Zoom Approve. I use Westman Atelier products, not of course a new foundation stick, but I show you how to use Tabac, uh, which is a very coppery brown sort of look, and it looks orangey or coppery, beautiful. I really like that look. So if you wanna see that, go check that video up because I'm like, I should compare it to this, but I really don't think there's comparison. I mean, let me just swatch this again. You can see, uh, if you see the video I created with all the, the Lisa Eldridge um, uh, uh, liquid eyeshadows, um, I swatched them there and, and you can see the comparison of all. But look, I mean, you can't compare, right? This is Westman Atelier, and this is Lisa Eldridge. Completely different looks. I mean, I would have put this in my eye right now and it would look beautiful, but we're gonna go to that and see if I can make a light look of it. Because so far, so far, that is not gonna look subtle at all. So I don't know exactly what to do, guys. I mean, uh, let's see, I just put some in my hand and now I'm going to do it with my left hand, which is not a good. Yeah, I was doing it with my left hand and that's a little tough. Oh, that's so lovely. Look at that. 
So we were talking with one of you about, oh, what did I do with my mirror? Why is that? I'll just use this. Wow, this is so lovely. So what I did, if you notice, I swatched it on my hand. I showed it to you. But then I grabbed this uh, brush from Natasha Denona and applied it. Uh, and let me grab some more for the other eye. Let's see if it hasn't dried because this thing dries fast. So for example there, I think it dried most of it. So now I grab even less color because it's almost dry on my hand. I'll, I'll apply more, but I want you to see the difference. So that's less and that's a little more. So, it looks very beautiful. Now, if you wanted a more subtle look, check the, check the back from Western Atelier. It's, uh, it's subtle, more subtle even than this one. However, this one is very lovely. I mean, at least with this one, you have the uh, versatility that you can go from subtle to very strong. I mean, strong, right? <laughs> the one at the bottom is the back. You can't make it, you will never make this one as strong as that one. And right now, when I apply it very, very lightly, uh, this one will look kind of how tobacco looks. I mean, look at that, right? So just in that, you can have two in one, I guess. Now the consistency is extremely different, of course, and the application is um, also different. Why? You know, if I was applying tobacco, it's like going and then tiki 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 and, and then reapplying it to create this sort of uh, color payoff, right? It's kind of going from subtle to, to pushing it a little bit higher. With this one, you you are doing the opposite. You're trying to, how do I take the least amount and then uh, kind of play with it, right? So look how beautiful, this one has more, this one has less. So that's it. Um, and then if you wanna see how bold, like I used it on the other video, uh, that one is a completely different look because I did use it sort of like that color, right? So it's beautiful. Now for every day, you can just use it like this, love it. I will put a dark eyeliner, even if it's subtle, but something, because it does need something, in my opinion. Um, so I don't wanna leave it at that because we're doing this video for you guys. So let's apply a little more, right? Let's build it up. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but and you know, this is so inconvenient that I put the swatch on my right hand and then I had to go back and forth, but we'll make it work. Let's see. All right. So now I apply more. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What do you guys think? So I'm doing a, a, a smoky eye in what sense that I am allowing kind of the color in my crease to be lighter and I apply making it a lot stronger on the bottom. And then I don't wanna forget, uh, let's put a little bit. Of the, see you have to work fast because it's drying. And so the swatch that I apply on my hand is already drying. So if you want this kind of nice payoff, you either do what I'm doing or just apply it directly to the lid and then just make sure you use the brush. So let's try that on the other eye. So what I mean is, oh, da, 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 da. you know, I don't have my stuff in front of me. <laughs> it just disappears every time I'm in, I'm filming. 
So let's see if I don't mess it up. I just want you to see how I'm building it up, right? So if I want to apply, tee, 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 now I'm going directly. And I have to move fast because it dries. So to do 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 do. All right. Oh, I already stained even. I opened my eye and it stained above. That's okay. Let's see what happens with that. So applying it directly to the lid might be a little more risky, uh, but it's a lot faster. And the, the product is very forgiving. So um, even if you, but look at the difference. This one I, I applied directly. This one was from my hand with a brush. So I was able to make this darker and then just bring it up a little bit. And this one is all dark, right? Cause it's harder to just be blending little bits above. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to, to see the different look. Trying to get some color to bring it down, but no. Once it dries, it dries. So, and I'm gonna put a little more color just to be able to bring it below. So that's the only thing that you have to work fast with this. So, just so you know. But it seems that once you, you put it in place, it will last all day. I'll paint I'll leave it on right now and I'll let you know, but I know last time when I did the other video, it did not move until I took it off. I mean, it was exactly, I mean, if you see, I, I filmed another video on fragrances right after, I don't know if, if you've seen it, and the look was intact. And, uh, and even throughout after, it did not move until I took it off and it came out very easy with, I use the towelettes to remove makeup. Um, I don't think it will be removed that easy with soap and water. I'm not sure, but I don't think. But once I use those with the makeup remover or just the, the wet towels as they sell them, you know, right now I'm using the Neutrogena uh, makeup remover, it immediately come off, no problem, no rubbing or anything. But there you go, I love it. I mean, so far we can, should I put brown eyeliner or more copper? Uh, let's put a little bit of this copper. So I have this from Charlotte Tilbury, which is dual. I really like them for that purpose. And this is copper. And since we all like the copper, even the lips, maybe I should put a different, I'll change the lips to a little pinkier, just <laughs> to give it a little contrast. Not all brown, but if you like it, I like it. I mean, so I think this look will look great if you use a darker brown as well. But I'm in the mood of just cover. Copper, 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 right? Look how beautiful. Yeah. I would like uh, for this whole copper, shiny, um, it reminds me of the 80s. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm liking this metallic copper idea. It's not terracotta. Uh, I know we kind of went through that, kind of gone back for terracotta colors. I don't find this terracotta at all. This is copper. <laughs> And I do like it. I have a video on Charlotte Tilbury Walk, Walk of No Shame. The whole thing is Walk of No Shame. And uh, check it out because it's scoppers. Although I probably have to do a look now with her copper lane. She has a whole cover for blue eyes, uh, eye quad. And so I'm gonna do a, a look on that and then we can compare. 
the tree looks because Wacom No Shame is not copper, it's a little more reddish, but it reminded me of this. But she does, uh, Charlotte Tilbury has a copper. So I guess that will be the next look. I'll use that quad. Then we can compare the three. Now we have the Westman Atelier, we'll have the, the Wacom No Shame, we'll have this, and you can see how they, they differentiate. There's in a touch of the Nona new face palette, uh, but I don't think this compares because I think that one gives a little more cooler, not of cool, but of cooler shade look, even though she uses some copper browns. Uh, but I think totally different vibe. And um, so, but I love this. And with blue eyes, awesome. I mean, I think my shirt is silver. <laughs> it almost looks blue because of, of the copper, right? And I think this Pesh, uh, Peau de Pesh from Westman Atelier is the perfect highlight. And so there you have it. I'm gonna go and put mascara on. All right, so I am back. I put some mascara and I've been loving, loving, loving the, uh, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It's not so big. The other one I've been winning, uh, liking quite a bit is the NARS Climax. Um, but I was gonna keep trying it in the casual. This is something I will use more in the casual, even though I love this look. I mean, I would go out on, on, on this. You'll see, I'm gonna enhance it a little bit. So if you were in the fence of getting this copper eyeshadow, um, I think now probably you're convinced. I will be, because look at the versatility of putting it from casual to ramp it up. And, uh, and I really like it and it stays in place. And so I wanted to show you, um, I wanna play a little bit further, just a tiny bit, because you know I've been discovering and loving. We can use uh, the Navy Sisley. We can put a little bit of blue in the inner uh, waterline, or we can do a little bit of copper in the inner waterline. So let's put the copper first and just see. And so we can do the copper uh, or we can do the brown. So there's the copper. Lovely, right? Wow. Now we can use the brown. And, or we can put the blue. I'll put the blue in the other one and then I'll kind of put it the same, but. Look at that, wow. Right? So I'm gonna put the blue here too. Yeah. And I'll equalize the other one. You see, I like to mix and match, but I wanted you to see, so that's the blue on its own. Then of course, if you add a little bit of the brown and the copper, it just brings the look together from the upper to the lower, right? Uh, the other thing I would do, and you know, I ordered some Pat McGrath glasses, gloss, uh, one that has uh, copper in it. Oh, that would have been so lovely. But I don't have that. I have this too. This one that has a little golden copper in there, or this one that has copper in there, believe it or not, but golden. I, let's put a little bit of this one. This one, oh my God, I went crazy to get this. This is spicy cake. And this is Too Faced. It was, I think, last year, um, sort of holiday glasses. I think they might have this on their, on their line. It smells like cinnamon, which is lovely. But look at that, it already enhances the look. I love this glass. I'll check it out if it's still um, on the line. Uh, it makes a big difference. Look at that. Makes a little more reddish, but it does have some golden sparks or 
I don't know what you, what you would call it, but it reminded me of copper, but the reddish. You see that? You like the look? So there you have it. Thank you so much for uh, keeping up with me. And uh, this is a time that I remind you to please subscribe to my channel, uh, to refer me so I can grow it, uh, to please ring the bell on the right-hand corner, uh, to keep commenting, requesting, um, and uh, keep the conversation happening. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, all of you. One of you said that this is a nice way to, to link each other, right? Because of our love for makeup or because of our coloring or because of whatever uh, is, is coming and sharing and having in common. And I love that. I love that. I appreciate it. So thank you very much. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Bye.